All right, let's talk about e-commerce business models and concepts. So you've studied business models before and business plans, really the descriptions of the activities uh, and then put into a, a document, uh, a plan document. So the e-commerce business model really leverages the unique qualities of the internet and the web to transact business uh, and plan for it. We're going to go through the key elements of the business model, which is important because as we begin to plan out uh, projects along the lines of uh, an e-commerce business, uh, and as you evaluate e-commerce e businesses and their operations, their strategies, uh, these are the elements that you're going to need to be looking at. So, what's the value? Why should a customer buy from you? Or al alternatively, how does the business, how does the online merchant make money? Some successful value propositions include a personalized or customized user experience, uh, reducing the time it takes for the consumer to discover the product or the price that they want or are, or are looking for, so they can come in and out quickly. Another uh, area is uh, the whole idea of product delivery and seamlessness and a pleasant experience. So pleasant personalization, timeliness, and delivery of products to provide an overall customer experience and satisfaction. Uh, how will they make money? How will they earn revenue, generate profits, and uh, put together an ROI that's superior? A variety of ways to do this advertising, selling ad space on your site, especially if you're a content publisher or a media site. Subscription revenue, also used by content and media and streaming sites. So a monthly annuity revenue model. Transaction revenues. So uh, transactions for downloads, transactions for purchases, which then can be delivered either via download or uh, through a delivering transportation mechanism, such as home shopping of physical goods. A sales revenue model and an affiliate revenue model. So a sales revenue model and an affiliate revenue model where you're actually using a sales channel to drive your revenues, either directly or indirectly through partners. Um, market spaces and opportunities within the markets you tend to serve, understanding what, what size it is, what vertical it is, what's the actual area of potential value that the company's going to make where it intends to operate within its market, and then a realistically looking at that, defined by revenue um, within each market sector or niche which, in which the company hopes to compete. And, uh, you know, the market opportunity is typically divided into smaller niches, so a portfolio of strategies and products uh, that help drive market opportunity for the business uh, and uh, multiple types of consumers. Who else is uh, in your space? So understanding the competitive environment, other companies selling similar products in the same space, both directly or indirectly. Um, what is the size? How many competitors are there? Uh, what is their market share, profitability, and pricing models compared to yours and your plans? Uh, and what advantage does your firm bring to the marketplace? Is your firm superior or is it cheaper to produce than your uh, competitors in terms of your model? Do you have first mover advantage or complementary resources through complementary businesses that give you an advantage? Do you have an unfair competitive advantage, which is to your benefit? What can you leverage through, leverage through business relationships? Are you involved in a perfect or an imperfect market and how do you take advantage of that? And how do you plan to promote your products or services to attract your target audience so your market strategy and the details of how you plan to enter and attract retain so acquire and retain customers uh, some of the best business concepts fail if they're not properly 
marketed to the correct potential customers. Uh, what type of organization structure are necessary to help you carry out this plan? Uh, what functional areas, what strategic areas, what lines, vertical lines of functions do you need to support? Um, or what horizontal support structures do you have to have in place? Horizontal might be finance, legal, um, information technology, uh, vertical, marketing, sales, production, distribution. As your company grows, uh, you tend to move from hiring uh, generalists to specialists in areas of specialization. And your management team, wh what kind of backgrounds do you need to have for the leaders to make it a strong team that can make the business model work? Uh, and what businesses have they succeeded in the past so you can attract and retain uh, a quality management team? And then also provide with your management team credibility to outside investors. Uh, so they are investing not just in your product concept or your market uh, advantage, but the people that are going to execute. Uh, so uh, do, does your management team have market specific knowledge and do they have experience in implementing business plans? So categorizing e-commerce business models, there's no real correct way. There's a variety of ways in e-commerce. There's B2B, B2C, mobile commerce, uh, similar models appear in more than one sector. Some companies use multiple business models. Uh, eBay is a direct-to-consumer, but it's also a marketplace, but it's also a, uh, a service business for B2B. Um, Amazon, in a variety of businesses. Um, Business-to-consumer is their traditional model, but over the years they built out such a great e-commerce infrastructure, they now sell that through Amazon Web Services. Okay, so B2C models, e-tailers, which are retailers that now have a presence on, on the web. So the brick and mortar company now has a dot-com e-tail catalog merchandising. Um, community providers, let's say social networks and uh, communities of interest that uh, drive traffic and drive conversation. Content providers, media companies. Um, I would argue that all companies are content providers and media companies today. Some specialized on certain uh, portions of media, such as the Huffington Post, a leader in, uh, in news content, but you know, uh, an online provider of content. Portals such as Yahoo, transaction brokers, market creators, and service providers uh, are a variety of other uh, B2C models. So the e-tailer is probably the most traditional. Um, you know, their, their revenue model is all about sales, uh, but it can be varied between a virtual merchant, which is all online, or bricks and clicks. So JCPenney's has an online version, but it also has many stores, Walmart, Target, all of those. Uh, a pure play, Amazon, um, you know, is a, is a pure play, um, e-commerce virtual merchant, a catalog merchant, um, uh, Land's End, uh, traditional uh, direct mail catalogs over the years, Sears and Roebuck catalogs over the years, but um, have moved to an online version. Sears obviously being a hybrid with uh, actual physical stores. And then manufacturer to direct. So your Bose headphones, you might be able to buy them directly uh, through the manufacturer or your beat headphones, um, but also through uh, uh, through retail outlets. Uh, but more and more manufacturers are experimenting with direct-to-consumer, though um, they have to be careful because they don't want to disintermediate their, their retail distribution channel. Uh, there's low barriers to entry. Setting up a quick website uh, doesn't cost a lot. You can get transactions started. But building and scaling and maintaining it is a bit more uh, labor intensive and expense intensive. Uh, B2C models from a community provider uh, providing online content, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, pretty much advertising models, uh, but starting out as uh, you know non non revenue based, but over time adding adding revenue and typically through ad models. Uh, transaction fees, uh, subscriptions, 
affiliate fees, partnering. Uh, content providers, music, news, text, artwork, uh, a variety of ways to uh, present and deliver uh, catalogs of content. Uh, subscription is, is a very popular model, but also uh, affiliate and advertising. Uh, and then there's syndication, having that content and licensing it out to other networks that need that content. So um, Real Savvy Media, where I was the CIO, we had a ton of great uh, family health and wellness content. We were very strong in that area, and we licensed our video and our blog uh, conversational content as well as article content out to uh, health networks that were looking to drive advertising revenue on their sites but needed content uh, for their eyeballs to, uh, to assimilate when they were visiting those sites. Web aggregators are another view. Uh, the portal model, uh, search driving uh, an integrated uh, content package of content and services such as Yahoo. Um, again, advertiser referral fees, um, transaction fees and subscriptions heavily driven by, by uh, by search, but also through news sites, uh, news portals, and specialty portals. Um, transaction brokers. Uh, so primarily value for saving time and money for consumers, collecting transaction fees, uh, the airlines, reservations, uh, self-service market, uh, job placement, self-service market, uh, financial services, uh, lending tree type type businesses. Uh, the market creator market, uh, eBay, Priceline, uh, aggregates of marketplaces where buyers and sellers can meet and negotiate prices and then the market uh, aggregator and creator collects transaction fees uh, for that ecosystem. Uh, service provider models uh, Google, Google Maps, um, online services, so a lot of free, uh, free services, Gmail, but driven by advertising, or upsell premium services to businesses that want to be located on the maps. So the value proposition here is valuable content, convenient for consumers, time-saving, uh, low-cost uh, alternatives to traditional service providers, a lot of different services. Um, AAA um, might, will have uh, information on uh, roadside assistance, but also travel and hotels. Uh, revenue models. Sales of services to business partners. Sales of marketing data from membership and uh, that is obtained through subscription fees of members. And then advertising and advertising partnerships and affiliates that advertise on the site, but also help do deals. So, uh, AAA, a good model. Uh, they have deals with Hertz as well as restaurant chains as well as hotel chains.